Today we're going to try to build a better mouse trap, as they would say, and make a live bait dredge. So stay tuned. Well, that was quick, I'm back. Okay, here we go. I'm always looking for ways to catch more fish. So I was like, you know, what would be good is, you know, a big teaser to, to bring up fish when I'm trolling for kingfish. Now, trolling for other fish, you know, people trolling for sailfish and marlin and stuff like that, they'll use these dredges. It's like a big umbrella rig of bait. So here's my plan to put live bait on each of these arms and then slow troll it behind the boat while I'm fishing for kingfish and kobe and stuff like that with some pogies. So my dad and I put baits on uh, each of these little arms, usually a couple on each one, with little hooks just to hold them in place and we put it back in the spread. We had a couple issues with it. First of all, putting it back in the spread is tough. And when we did, it was kind of wanting to turn. Part of it got caught on our swim ladder, got kind of tangled because this rig would turn and now the bait's over here basically in line with this metal arm and they didn't stay in this kind of umbrella shape that I'd hoped. And what I figured was when you pull artificials, there's a lot more pressure, you know, pull them back kind of uniformly. So it's kind of um, keeping this aligned like this. But with live baits, the idea is, is you're more of guiding the bait than pulling them. And because these fish are alive, they're swimming on their own, there's really no pressure on this thing. So it doesn't take much for this to, to turn to the side and there's not enough speed or pressure from the baits to, to keep it turning like this. So my next plan was like, well, the dredge isn't gonna work, but what about a spreader bar? One of these babies. Kind of the same idea, people put uh, several artificial baits and pull them on the surface and I'm um, like okay well that dredge didn't work because it was turning this spreader bar might work better so again I put baits on it easier because there are less arms less baits you have to put on and put it into the water we still have the same issue because the baits swim freely so this bar wouldn't stay perfectly straight it would want to do this and when it did this the baits would get tangled However, the baits did swim pretty good on it, okay, right back there in the wash. And what I found was, since there were already, you know, a dozen, half a dozen baits on these dredges when I put it back, I could take baits from our live well and just toss them back right towards the dredge. And when these fish hit the water, they would freely swim with the other baits because I already kind of started the school. So I could throw you know another half a dozen back there and they would swim there with the baits. Sometimes they'd dart to the boat and, and swim back to my closest bait and then they'd come back into the rig. So I did have several baits coming up together to uh, help to track fish. So overall, did a live bait dredge work? Unfortunately, no, not really. It just, um, as much trouble it is to put the baits on there without letting them die and then get it back in the spread and then it still tends to tangle anyways because there's just not enough pressure from the baits. It wasn't really worth it. And the thing to remember is if you throw baits out there anyways, we found that they'll still swim with the boat. Uh, maybe if you kind of want to try to get the best of both worlds, take like a ribbon fish rig, a rig that has maybe three or four hooks and then put three or four live baits on it uh, close to your spread and then throw baits to that because they'll still swim together. It's a lot easier to put out, to control. It's got hooks if a fish bites it, then you can catch them. And it, it just seems to um, pretty much do the same thing this did, only without the hassle. I hope you learn what not to do in this case, or maybe it'll give you some ideas. Maybe you'll find a way to make this work. If so, please let me know. Um, I'll put links to those if you guys want some or maybe for some of your faster trolling. They do work really well with that, so I would definitely recommend that. Also, subscribe to us for more videos and we'll see you guys next time.